everyone and welcome to Letty Does Iron Fist. So before I get started, I just want to say that right now there's like a lot of wind. Um, it's very windy where I am, so if there's any like thumping noises or, you know, whooshing noises, it's the wind. It's pretty violent. That's why I have everyone, literally everyone here on the bed instead of outside and on the floor and stuff. Alright, so, in the last episode, well, it's basically the same thing as the previous two because for the last couple episodes it's just been Ward trying to connect with Joy, Joy trying to get rid of Davos, and Mary trying to get control of her life, but most of these people are not succeeding at doing any of that shit. Um, Danny had almost captured Davos until Davos broke his leg, and Danny is recovering from that. And Colleen and Misty were able to track down the Crane sisters, and they said that they're willing to perform the ceremony again to get the Iron Fists away from Davos. However, they're going to need the singing bowl that they used while they were performing the ceremony. So now everyone has to go find the singing bowl. And yeah, that's basically it, honestly, because Davos still has the iron fist, Danny broke his leg. Oh, and then um the reason why is because the Mary personality took over and I guess now she's Mary. And yeah, that's it. Um there's not too many things I'm looking for other than Maybe, like, seeing another hint of Mary kind of coming to terms with her two altars. Because um, it seems like Walker just wants to move and, like, leave this life behind. And we know that Mary wants the same thing. And, yeah, that's about it. Hey, sit your butt down. You're gonna ruin the harmony we have. Sir, I mean it. I'll put you out in the... Wind. <laughs> Alright. And then, um, as for Danny, I just want to see him recover. I mean, every single time he's gotten hurt, it's because he runs off on his own and decides to take matters into his own hands, and then things go sideways, and he actually fucks things up more. So, maybe third time is the charm, and he'll learn from his mistakes, but considering how this show has been going, I severely doubt it. Iron Fist Season 2, Episode 8, Citadel on the Edge of Vengeance. Let's get started. And he has two fists where you had one. He, knows he has two fists? And I haven't been paying attention to that. He can channel it to either one. Mastery comes knowledge. Mastery comes knowledge. Keep Shit again. Cause that worked well for him, huh? Be the same. Be relentless. Hmm, he's all ego and overconfidence. I wonder who that reminds me of. Strike to kill. Follow each attack. Yeah, I'm guessing it's over between them. Without them, we can't get the bowl or Davos. How much time has passed? Because it had seemed like Davos shattered Danny's entire, like, knee. Oh shit. Their tip line actually got a tip. You see, that's good logic, Davos. We're not here to fight him, we're here to get you out. Oh, the guy didn't argue with her. They're all just leaving. They can choose. Well, good job, Danny. But I mean, speaking realistically, Colleen is being a lot easier on Danny than she was on her former student.
Oh, I was expecting him to like hit the ground and have like one pike go up to stop the car. Hey, you just littered. Can you tell me your name? Man, she killed a lot of people. She killed all those guys with a machete? Aw, oh, did Joy come to get some lessons? Now, if you go in after Davos, how many more people will be hurt? I like how they have like coffee and like a little plate for like a cake or something they came to this meeting they brought snacks they talked it over if you can't feed them join them show them how you will better their lives show them the man that i see the man i respect oh <laughs> this is so strange I did not kill those men. Oh. I wanted to. After oh. Four of you died in the ambush, and the other three over the next year or so. They made sure. Okay, so it looks like they actually are going with the three personality thing. So there is gonna be a Bloody Mary altar. I don't think we're gonna get to see her though. When I was working through my. That's where I'm gonna take you. Oh shit. Here we go again. Please. You want your teeth ripped out of your mouth? No. <laughs> he knows that's no, not an empty threat. Final one. Let me bury a bullet in his brain. <laughs> He's like, she's all like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that response. I'm bringing them with me. Oh, that room is very dark. Are you gonna help me or should I lock you back in here? So this is Joy trying to do the right thing then. You're still in league with the golden tigers. No, I never was. There I are no more golden tigers, fool. You place. killed them all. I've never been part of any tigers. Oh, that sounded like it went through the body and hit the wall. Cause it did. Oh my God! Check what the Falcon does. Without mercy, no hesitation. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Uh. Aw, oh, Phoebe, you're a good man. He's like, I know where that is. I survived him, and I'll survive what comes next. So if you He's gonna die. Me at oh man, Phoebe's gonna get there, and Colleen isn't going to be there. That's why we're here. You love Davos. You love me. You love Davos because he's your brother. Okay. That was a bit much, Danny. I think it should be you. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, it just ended. All right. So, uh <laughs> There was quite some plot in this episode. First of all, you know, Joy finally decided that she actually wanted to help people instead of just you know, sticking around, doing whatever, and um, <laughs> and then we also got the whole training montage thing, which I was expecting. What I wasn't expecting, though, is Rhino to die. BB got out, so he's good. Um, 
But Rhino died. Uh, Davos basically is the hand now. I really hope they make that comparison. That like Bushido is taking in all these kids where he, that they didn't like know where to go and didn't have a home and then he was making them into warriors. So I hope if Colleen like fights Davos again and like sees his, you know, kid army, he makes that, or she makes that comparison. Cause I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, wow, Colleen is the Iron Fist. That would make Daughters of the Dragon way more intense. And then, like, her and Misty would each have their own special things. So she could have the Iron Fist. And Misty would have her super high-tech robotic arm. And that's fucking awesome. So I really hope that they po follow through with that. Because um, I think that'd be really cool to see. I want to know where, uh, or Colleen would get her tattoo as well, so... Probably on her back, huh? That, that, that would probably be okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool to see. I really hope that they end up doing that. Um, now that I said Misty, Misty hasn't come back in a while. Hmm. So, I hope that she is going to come back the next episode so that we can you know, get the ball rolling on this whole Colleen becomes the Iron Fist thing and then the Daughters of the Dragon get together and then it's gonna be super awesome. Um, because, yeah, that's that's really exciting. I'm, I'm glad they brought that up. That's rather clever. So, hope they do that. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. So, Get out there, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Letty here. Just trying on another apron for my Autumn of Aprons Try On Haul, October 2018. And if you like udon with grapefruit, then this is the apron for you. You can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that card up there. Bye.